What was your favorite outdoor activity when you were a child? My favorite outdoor activity was playing on the swings. I loved going really high. Can you remember a special birthday gift you received as a kid? I got a shiny red bicycle as a birthday gift once. It was the best surprise ever. Did you have a favorite holiday or special occasion during your childhood? Christmas was my favorite holiday. I loved decorating the tree and getting presents. What was your favorite bedtime routine as a child? My bedtime routine included reading a story with my parents and getting a goodnight hug. Can you recall a time when you learned something new and exciting as a kid? I felt so excited when I learned to tie my shoelaces by myself. It was a big achievement. Were you ever scared of something as a child? What was it? I used to be scared of the dark. My mom would leave a nightlight on to help me feel better. Did you have a favorite playground or park that you liked to visit? Yes, I had a favorite park with a big slide. I could slide down it over and over again. What was your favorite type of candy or sweet treat as a child? I loved gummy bears. They were my absolute favorite sweet treat. Can you share a memory of a family picnic or outing? We had a family picnic in the park with sandwiches and games. It was a lot of fun. Were there any bedtime stories or lullabies that you liked to hear before sleep? I enjoyed hearing the story of Goodnight Moon before going to sleep. It always made me feel cozy. Kindly show your support by clicking the like button. How can I ask someone to go on a date? You can say, would you like to go for coffee or dinner with me? What's a good idea for a first date? Going for a walk, having coffee, or eating at a simple restaurant are good first date ideas. When should I call after the first date? Wait a day or two before calling. It's good to show interest but not too quickly. What are signs of a bad date? Rude behavior or someone using their phone a lot can be signs. Trust your feelings. How do I end a date politely if it's not going well? You can say, I had a nice time, but I don't feel a romantic connection. Why is communication important in a relationship? Talking helps you understand each other better and build trust. When should I talk about being in a relationship? Have that talk when you both feel a strong connection and want to know where the relationship is going. How can I deal with feeling jealous in a relationship? Tell your partner how you feel. Trust and talking are important. How can I make a long-term relationship more exciting? Try new things together, surprise each other, and talk about what you both want. What should I do if I go through a breakup? Take time for yourself, talk to friends, and focus on making yourself feel better. It's okay to take things slow. Please hit the like button to support us. How do I start a conversation with someone I like? You can start with a friendly greeting like, Hi, how are you? And ask about their interests. What's a simple way to show interest during a date? Show interest by asking about their day or sharing a compliment like, You look nice today. When is it okay to hold hands with someone you're dating? It's okay to hold hands when you both feel comfortable and enjoy each other's company. How can I tell if someone likes me on a date? If they smile, laugh, or make eye contact, they might like you. Trust your instincts. What are some good topics to talk about on a date? Talk about hobbies, favorite movies, or things you both enjoy. Keep it light and fun. Why is it important to be honest in a relationship? Being honest builds trust. Share your thoughts and feelings openly. 
How do I express my feelings without making things awkward? Express feelings by saying things like, I really enjoy spending time with you to avoid awkwardness. When is the right time to say, I love you in a relationship? Say, I love you when you feel a deep connection and are sure about your feelings. What can I do to make my partner feel special? Show appreciation with small gestures like writing a note or planning a surprise. How do I apologize if I make a mistake in a relationship? Apologize sincerely by saying, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. I didn't mean to. Please hit the like button to support us. How can I make someone feel comfortable on a date? Make them feel comfortable by smiling, being polite, and asking about their interests. Is it okay to share personal stories during a first date? It's okay to share some personal stories, but keep it light and positive. What do I do if I forget the person's name during a date? If you forget their name, you can say, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Can you remind me? How do I handle nervousness before a date? To handle nervousness, take deep breaths, focus on the positive, and be yourself. When should I introduce my date to my friends? Introduce your date to friends when you both feel comfortable and the relationship is progressing. Why is it important to listen during a conversation on a date? Listening is important. Nod and respond to what they say to show you're interested. What's a nice way to end a date if I enjoyed it? If you enjoyed the date, you can say, I had a great time. Can we do this again? How do I handle disagreements in a relationship? Handle disagreements by staying calm, expressing your feelings, and finding a compromise. When is the right time to meet someone's family? Meet someone's family when you both feel the relationship is serious and stable. How can I keep a conversation going on a date? Keep a conversation going by asking open-ended questions and sharing your thoughts. Kindly show your support by clicking the like button. What was your favorite game to play with your friends? My favorite game to play with friends was tag. I loved running around and trying not to get caught. Did you have a favorite color when you were a child? Yes, my favorite color was blue. I liked everything in blue, especially my clothes and toys. Can you recall a time when you got a special treat as a kid? One time, I got a big ice cream cone as a special treat. It was so delicious. What was your favorite cartoon or TV show growing up? I loved watching SpongeBob SquarePants on TV. It always made me laugh. Did you have a best friend in your childhood? Yes, my best friend was Sarah. We did everything together from playing to sharing snacks. What was your favorite subject in school when you were little? My favorite subject in school was art. I enjoyed drawing and coloring pictures. Can you remember a time when you felt really proud of yourself as a child? I felt really proud when I learned to ride my bike without training wheels. It was a big accomplishment. Were there any special traditions during holidays in your family? During holidays, we always made cookies together as a family. It was a yummy tradition. What was your favorite animal when you were a child? My favorite animal was a dolphin. I thought they were so smart and friendly. Can you share a memory of a funny family moment from your childhood? Once we had a family picnic and my dog stole a sandwich. We all laughed so much.